Today we're going to count down the best rides at Vader's Terminal. So starting off our video with a classic water slide, we have got Crocodile, and whilst it has not got the giant, crazy and totally bonkers elements in which we will be offering later on, it has got some elements which the other ones don't. As for example, from the moment you set off on this adventure, to when you are twisting and turning and snapping round those corners, did you get what I did there? Crocodile snapping, to when you finished off this slide with a splash, you will not be experiencing those crazy screams, but instead just enjoying the slide for what it has to offer. Okay, I get it, the crocodile is still not unique enough for you, but we are not fin is yet, because next up we have got the shark, which is a little bit different from the last, because if you dare to take on this adventure, for starters, as you can see, you will be timed, and I do not get why the time is not at the bottom, rather the top, when you finish at the bottom, so unless you're in a group of two, you can't see each other's time. During your race to the bottom, you will still be snapping around those elements, twisting and turning round the tubes, all before coming out into the splashdown. The difference is though, is that the majority of this side will not be done in the open air, rather inside of a tube. And with those rather hypnotic lights too, it is definitely an experience that will never, ever be forgotten. As a little bit of advice for you guys, any side that is named after a snake is going to be intense, and that is most definitely the case for our next adventure, Anaconda because this side from first sight may seem a bit like the other ones, with the star especially. I mean, you can see Crocodile start, and you can see this start, and it's the same thing. And then even after you begin the ride, you'll be going through a series of tubes, twisting and turning to the bottom. But if you look down, you'll notice that you are not on your bum or on your back, but in fact in a dinghy. Yes, what makes the Anaconda so fun, and a little bit more intense, is that you'll be able to experience the entire thing start to finish inside of a circular dinghy. And I do not know whether you can spin round, but with it being a one person one, there is definitely a possibility. From snapping round the bends with the crocodile, to finishing off the normal size with the sharks, to just now slithering down the track with the anaconda, there's definitely a certain theme coming along. So what will the camel side do Oh yes, take you over a bump. And trust me when I say, even though from how I suggested it as going over a bump, it may not seem like that much when you're on your two-person raft. Yes, on this side right here, you can decide whether you want to take on a singular raft or a two-person raft. You'll be twisting and turning through the tube before then coming out the end and then flying over that hill before a final splashdown. But be warned, if you chose a two-person raft, if on that final bump, you let out your total screams, then the person either in front of you, or behind you, will be able to see that. Oh, I knew we were going to see this side on the list. We promise you unique, and this right here is most definitely that, within a nutshell this short but sweet loud, sending you out of a tube, then into a drop, then up the other end, then draw him back again, back again, back again, back again, before you then come out the end. And so with the loud, amongst the most definite thrills being quite self-explanatory, I am going to give you one final tip, which will be to ride rides like this, for unique ones, straight away. As even though all of them are amazing, you can do the other ones elsewhere, but this one right here, Hippo, can only be done here. Thank you all for watching, bye bye.